Well, hello everyone, welcome back. It is Tuesday, and we all know what Tuesdays are. Senior Citizen Tuesday. But, I'm not showing you a haul today from Goodwill or Salvation Army. I still have a ton of stuff from the sales I went to over this past weekend. Been a little busy. <laughs> uh, the live sales, a lot of work, a lot of work, you know, got to get those things packed up and shipped out. So this is the first chance I've had to actually film a video. So this is going to be a haul video from two estate sales and quite a few yard sales. Some of the yard sales, I only got one or two items at and others I got a lot. <laughs> so, before we get started, it is time for Slang Flashcard 101. Yes, it's time. I've been forgetting to do these. So, let me get a, let's get a card out. Just gonna pick one out of the pack. Okay, well, this should be quite interesting. The word for today is badonkadonk. I have no idea where they come up with these words, but that's it. <laughs> okay, let's get to the meaning. <laughs> Donk a donk. Female buttocks that are well shaped, curvaceous, and usu. Okay, what is usu? I have no clue. Large and jiggly. Okay, so now they need to come up with another word that means the exact same thing. Only, they're not talking about a woman's butt. They're talking about her gut. Let me see what they come up for that one. Binks. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, so, here are some other words that are used for a female's buttocks. Birthday cake. Back, onion, booty, rump, junk in the trunk, cushion for the pushing, apple bottom, whoopee cakes, <laughs> honky tonk, badonka donk, donk, gadonka donk. <laughs> Badonga dong. Badunka dunk. <laughs> Coke bottle. Bootylicious. Not a badinka dink. 
Then they have a little picture on the card and an example. She has my eyes and your badonka donk. <laughs> I have no words. No words. Okay. Wow. That was our lesson for today. Lovely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um I just want to make a couple of quick announcements. This Thursday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing a four-way sale with Trusty Huckster Mercantile and um, two other people, and I never can remember who it is because I have CRS. But anyway, we will be doing a four-way sale. Each one of us will be selling 20 items. So I hope you all will remember to stop in because it's going to be fun. And uh, then this coming Saturday, I will be having another live sale as I normally do at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Only um, this Saturday, I'll only be selling 30 items uh, because I am selling 20 on Thursday night. So I don't want to give myself a stroke. <laughs> so enough said, let's get on with the haul video. All right, so I am going to show you what I got at a couple of yard sales. So I'm going to start with this stuff here. Now, all of these items that I'm going to show you, um, all these bells and stuff, were a dollar each. I'm trying to remember. I think I spent one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. I think I spent like fifteen dollars. I want to say something like that. Okay. So let me show you. Now this one is missing its um, clapper, but I will put one in here, even though it is a pain in the ass. <laughs> I will do it. I will try and do it. But if it's just sitting on a shelf, who really cares if it rings or not? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, it's this beautiful, it's got a luster wear finish to it, or like a mother of pearl beautiful like colonial scene on the, on the front flowers very very pretty so i got that one and i am going to try and put things aside so i can make room um got this beautiful hobnail milk glass bell Got this really pretty pink one with the uh, roses on the front. Very, very pretty. I love the color. Put my slang cards over there. This one is my favorite. It is uh, hand painted. It needs to be washed. And I'm not sure if this is Fenton or not, but it is gorgeous. It has like the, the silver crest look to it, except it's pink and not clear. So maybe they call it rose crest. I don't know, but it's beautiful. It has the opalescent edges. There's the woman's signature on the inside there. Just beautiful. Got 
I got this bell because it goes with, I believe it was Cindy Neal that um, bought the other ones from me. And I found another one. These are the Royal Majestic Bells. Look how cute. She's a little cutie patootie. This goes with the other uh, three or four that uh, Cindy got. I got this beautiful uh, hand-blown vase. It's like milk glass on the inside, and then this beautiful blue glass on the outside. It has an applied handle. You can see the pontal mark on the bottom. Just beautiful. Love, I love the blue and the white. Very pretty. All right. I also got, and I didn't even take it out of the box, and I'm not going to, but I paid $5 for this. I mean, hello, how was I going to, like, pass that up? That looks like Binks all day long, other than the white um, muzzle. <laughs> It's so cute. Maybe I'll open it up and plug it in and insert a picture at the end. Very cute. All right. Um, I also got this little uh, birdhouse uh, for my mom. She loves birdhouses. Still has the tags on it and everything. Home interiors. I thought it was really cute. And the last thing I got at this sale is another gorgeous lamp, you guys. Look at this lamp. It's got a cherub sitting on a leaf. What is he doing? Oh, he's playing a violin. Beautiful. Now you can see what the globe looks like. It's just gorgeous. This was a dollar. I'm like, the whole table, everything was a dollar. I was like, oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So that was a uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner, that sale. Absolutely. Then... There was a house next door that I went to, and all I got from there was this really nice, it's an excellent condition, I don't think it was ever used, Starbucks mug. I said, how much do you want for the Starbucks mug? This is from 2016. She goes, a dime. So I just gave her a dollar. I said, here you go. She goes, oh, let me get you change. I said, no, that's okay. That's okay. So I got a nice Starbucks mug. Um, now, the reason I found out about these two sales was from the first sale I went to. This woman was a reseller at one point, and she had a huge garage full of stuff. And she told me, oh, if you go up the street and turn left, there's two more sales over there, which was where I got all the stuff I just showed you. But now, let me show you the things that I got at her house. She had some amazing tins. And as I said before, I'm not real big on tins, but these were gorgeous. So, let me show you these. Look at these tins. And I mean, they are really in great shape. Just, I mean, they're just beautiful. I couldn't get over it. So there's this one. And then we have this one. nothing on the bottom 
you know, I mean, it does have some rust on the handle and such, but the inside looks great. I mean, what a beautiful tin. Then I have these. These were made by Murray Allen. Um, New York, New York, and Los Angeles, California. These are like, I don't know if I could get the lid off of this one. Oh yeah, there it goes. So, that's the inside. Look how pretty that is. And then there's this one. It's probably made by the same. Oh, no, it's not. This is Riley's Toffee. Halifax, England. This one has the same type of a lid. That's the inside. Look at that. So pretty. So, so pretty. That's the lid. The bottom is a little rusty. And it says Regal Crown, Murray Allen. This is another Murray Allen. It's the inside. But these are just so pretty. I have one more, and this one is my favorite. This is the top. And this is another Murray Allen. That's the inside. And um, the tins were a dollar each. I spent $20, $25 at this sale. Uh, then I got, this is Avon, uh, Betsy Ross. It had Sonnet Cologne in it, but look how cool is this decanter. Awesome. She has this ticket on here and I can't get it off right now but anyways she's it's just really really cool I got this for the frame however the woman that's in this frame uh, is a is from this area and the girl was giving me a little bit of information. Um, she was an only child. Her parents had money. Uh, so therefore, she had money. And she owned this big mansion down in Lewiston, New York. And um, her name was Pearl. And that's Pearl, everybody. But I just really like the frame, and the frame is kind of beveled or domed a little bit. So, I got that. Good old pearl. I got this because I just thought this was really, really cool. Um, I mean, and it's for resale. All of this is for resale. Um, look how cute this is. It's made of wood. And it's poo and it's honey pot. How cute is he? I've never seen anything like that. I thought it was really cute. Um, I got one of these guys. 
and I can't remember if it who makes it if it's Shawnee or who it is but it's the little duck milk pitcher it's in great condition um I don't see any crazing no chips so I got that guy Got an Amberina uh, Daisy and Button shoe. I didn't feel any, um, like it was just a little couple little flea bites, but it, there's no cracks, no chips. I got this um, Spring Daisy creamer. This is really cool. Matter of fact, today I was at uh, Goodwill and they had the creamer and the sugar bowl um, and this like the milk glass, but it wasn't the spring daisy pattern. It was the butterfly gold pattern, but neither one of them had their tops. I'm like, well, that's no good with no tops. So I just left them there. But this is really cute. I like this. Then I found a Spring Daisy Pyrex Bowl. These usually sell pretty good for me. So I picked this up. It's in really good condition. Um, you know, it's got a few little scratches that you really can't see unless you hold them up to the light. There are a couple, like you can maybe see there. I don't know if you can see them, but it's not a big deal. And this is actually the Pyrex 40, I can't read it because it's worn off. It looks like it might be 406, one and a half quart mixing bowl. So, got that. Oh. I got another one of these very cool foil um, prints. Look how pretty that is. I love the look of that. It's beautiful. And it is um, made in England, solid brass. So I got that. And I found some uh, very cool Christmas trays. Got this one. I had one like this and I think I sold it. And then I got this one. This one's really cute. <laughs> This one is my favorite, though. I like this one. Um, I don't know who made it. I think he's really cool. So, got those. And I did get a couple um, vintage ornaments. These two plastic Santa heads. And this Santa boot with presents. Pretty cool. Um, what is in here? I don't remember. Oh, I got this little guy. <laughs> He's so cute. Just a little piggy. No cracks, no chips, just some paint loss. But I think he, I don't know if he was supposed to be like that or not. It looks like he was made that way. So he was cute. And the last, um, I did get one other large item. It's a, a really nice bench that I paid $5 for. I will include a picture of that right here. And then I got my favorite piece, and I am keeping this for myself, is this adorable 
Little Santa music box. He's giving the old peace sign. <laughs> He's so cute. I do not know what he plays, and I don't want to wind it up because it probably won't stop. But I love him. All right. So that was everything from that sale. Oh, and you know what? The other sale that I went to where I bought all the bells, I forgot. I also got these. I got another red-handled rolling pin. And another red-handled beater. Yes. Forgot about those. So I got those as well. Um, I also stopped at a sale that was right around the corner from my house. Uh, I only got two things there, but they're awesome things. I got this amazing glass pumpkin for 50 cents. Look at that. It's so pretty. And then I got, and y'all know I love my ghosts. So this is a keeper for me. I got another ghost. This one doesn't light up, but I don't care. Um, and it is a ceramic piece, but I don't see anything on the bottom. Oh, no. There is somebody's initials, E-B, on the bottom. So, yepper, got me another ghosty. And that was only, I think, a dollar. So, I spent a dollar fifty at that particular sale. Oh, and, OMG, I forgot. At the sale, the sale, at the sale where I got all the bells, I also got a large piece. And it's this really nice metal, um, like a three-tiered shelf, um, which I will insert a picture of that for you right here. All right, now, I went to two estate sales on Saturday. And to be quite honest, they sucked. They were, didn't really have anything that I was really looking for. I mean, I can't, I mean, it sucked for me because it wasn't stuff that I was looking for. I mean, they, the person had some nice things, but not what I am looking for. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> But I did get a few things. The one main thing that was the first thing I saw as I walked into the garage is this amazing blow mold. And I know I can't get it all in the frame. I'll do it back here. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Look at this guy's face on the bottom. He's like, Dang. <laughs> I love it. Um, let me see if it works. I didn't plug it in. It does have a, uh, a light in it. Oh, there we are. Oh my God, I love it. This was $10 and I didn't mind paying that at all. So this is I had my phone, I have my phone on the charger. Sorry. Hope I didn't make you dizzy. So, yeah, this is uh, a keeper as well. Let me put this guy over there. All right. So, let me move these things over here because... What I'm going to do, excuse me, is put this, I have a big basket 
that's full of stuff and I hope I would like to try and lift it and put it on this chair. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, let me show you what I got at one sale. Hopefully I can remember what I got. As I said, it really wasn't much. I think I got these, uh, this, and this. Oh no, that was it. Okay. All right. So, at the one sale, I purchased this Tim Hortons ornament. It is a cup of coffee from Tim Hortons, my favorite coffee ever. <laughs> that was a dollar. Then I got this beautiful ornament. It comes in the box. It has some paperwork with it. It is a Mr. Christmas. Uh, so apparently it plays music and it takes a battery. So it was $2. It comes in this pretty box. So this is the actual ornament. Let's see. Silent night, but it needs a new battery. <laughs> it definitely needs a new battery, but it's really very pretty. So I did get that. That will be a resale item. That was, I said, I think I said $2. Okay. So that was pretty cool. Definitely needs <laughs> new battery. Then I got this bag of uh, connected candles. They're the ones that come like this. And of course they're all tangled. That one came undone like this and I got this bag of them for 50 cents which was a really good deal I thought of my girl Joanne over at a work in progress she loves these candles and then I got uh, these two sets of shoe stretchers, <clears throat> these were uh, $3 a piece, or a set, pardon me, $3 a set. So I got a set like these, this reminds me of cedar wood, but it's not because it doesn't have that amazing cedar smell. And then I got this a set like this. And uh, I know uh, a lot of people say these sell pretty well. So that's why I figured I'd pick them up and uh, check them out. So that's what I got at that sale. Yeah, that was the one that didn't really have anything that I normally would buy. So, eh. okay. All right. Um, what did I get at the other estate sale? We went to two estate sales. Hmm. Oh, hold up. 
I got to go get, no, I showed you guys that already. That was at the other one. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I can't remember what the heck I bought. Okay, well, um, I do not recall what I got at the other estate sale. Aside from... I don't know. Maybe I didn't get anything at the other estate sale. I don't know. I can't remember. Alrighty then, moving on. So, um, we stopped at, as I said, some yard sales. So, I did purchase at this one yard sale. I bought these two Hurricane... Um, uh, glass things because I thought they would work for my lamps in my living room. Um, they fit this way. This was the perfect size here on the bottom, but this is too big around. So the globe won't go down over this. So eh, it's not working, but that's okay. I'll have extra ones. These were a dollar each. Uh, then I purchased another Amberina boot. Look at that. This one's a little different. It's not flat on the bottom. It dents in. And there are no cracks, no chips, no flea bites. This was three bucks. Then I grabbed these two cute little um, little bowls. These are nice for um, you know if you're cooking and you would have you want to crack open some eggs or you know like prep prep bowls. They're just really pretty and I loved the colors. So those were only fifty cents for the pair. Then I bought these two little personal creamers. And these uh, these were like, I mean, not bad. This one was a dollar and this one was two dollars. This one is from, this is restaurant wear, I believe. The Bailey Walker from Bedford, Ohio. China, I don't know. And this one doesn't have any marks on it. Then I bought a random lid for 50 cents. You know what I always say about buying lids when you see them. Then I got this really cool Pampered Chef. It is a brownie it's a small bar pan, they call it. And um, it's in really good condition. I really don't think it was ever used. It was only $2. So I grabbed it and it came with the little um, thingy, squeegee thingy that you use to clean it. And the directions and a fudge brownie recipe. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Uh, then I bought, I just bought this ball jar. Uh, it has bubbles in it and stuff. It doesn't have the lid. It was $2 because it's blue. So originally I had bought this to do um, the jar of buttons. So this is probably what I'm going to do with it because I have a bunch of buttons and I wanted to do another um jar full of buttons for one of my sales. So I will probably use this. That's why I bought it. Uh, I got this pretty little dish. This is really pretty. This was a dollar. Very, very pretty. No markings on the bottom.
And that was everything I got at that house. All right. Now, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Yes, we are. One of the, the estate sale companies here is run by a woman named Nettie. And she actually had a little sale of her own. Uh, she cleaned out her barn and decided to have a little sale. And I get emails from her and a couple other um, estate sale companies. And I got a, you know, a little email saying she was having her little uh, barn yard sale. So we stopped there too. So let me show you what I got there because I got some very, very cool things. So um, pardon me, before I do that, let me just show you, I forgot. I also, at the last stuff I just showed you, the one house, I also got this set of green, emerald green or forest green bowls. We have these two and this small one. Um, it was $3 for all three. And they are just in beautiful condition. So I grabbed those as well. You can mix up your brownie batter in one of these bowls and then pour it in your Pampered Chef brownie pan. There you go. Okay. Now, moving on to Nettie's uh, little sale. Uh, I did pick up Oh, this is my daughter's. My daughter picked up this really pretty uh, vintage scarf. But I did get this really cute basket. It's flat on the back. You could hang it on the wall. It's in like excellent shape. It was only a dollar. Then I got this very cool box of cigars. And believe it or not, what does this say on here? From Spain, the, the cigars here in contained were imported to retail at no more than 15 cents each and are so tax paid. Net contents, 10 cigars made in Las Palmas, Spain. Look at that. <laughs> They're still in there. Two, four, six, seven. So, somebody smoked three. And then didn't smoke anymore. But they come with this thing. And it came with this. I thought this was pretty awesome. I was like, oh, how cool is that? And I think she only charged me like a dollar for it. But yeah, it's just really, really cool. Loved it. <laughs> and then what else did I get? I got this beautiful silk, like a tapestry or it does smell musty, but it's... I think it's like a table runner. Let's see if I could do it this way. It's just gorgeous. I, I'm afraid to wash it to get that musty smell out. So I'm wondering if I just maybe, um, spray some Febreze on it or something, but this is beautiful. It is just gorgeous. 
and I, I she only she didn't really charge me that much for it. I can't remember what I spent at her sale, but all right. Um, then oh geez, I'm I'm forgetting things. This was from the sale where I bought these bowls. Good old Bing Crosby album. If anybody's looking for Bing, let me know. I already have one, and I ended up sending one to Mimi at Mimi's Treasure Cottage because she had been looking for this album too. So if anybody is looking for this album, let me know. Send me an email. Yeah, I, ca I can't remember where I got half the stuff. It's like, I remember, but then I forget. I move on to another house and find something else that I got at the last one. And so if you guys are all confused now, join the crowd. All right. Then I got this. This is really, look at this. It's just a cardboard it's almost like a decoration, you know, like Halloween decorations. And it's raised. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's it's raised. So cool. As well as this. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. How cute is that? Look at that face. So it is a decal. It is a decal. Cut designs apart with scissors. Dip in warm water 10 seconds. Wait about one minute until design releases easily. Slide decal over edge of paper Place in position and gently pull paper from under design. Smooth from center to edges with squeegee or damp cloth. Allow to dry. This is cooler than cool. I love it. I purchased some very, very old books. This one is from 1889. This is a, it is a book, Rock of Ages, right? I'm not good at turning these. Very, very cool. That's the back. This is an awesome piece of ephemera. Musty. I hate that smell. I don't like that smell. I got this. The History of Our Country. $0.25 cents it was. Let me just see if, what the date is on here. Oh. Oh, look, guys. Hang on. Yeah, see, these were coming apart. Battle of Wounded Knee. Yeah, I don't see, um, I don't see a date. I'm afraid to really go through it because I don't want the pages to fall out because it's old. So I got that one. 
Then I got two copies of these. This one is from um, 1903. I don't know when that one's from. The Muncie. Very cool. And then there's this one. Now these were a quarter each. Life magazines. First we have, this one is from 1984. Caroline and John Kennedy. He was so handsome. Then we have Senator Robert F. Kennedy, 1968. We have John F. Kennedy, 1965. Nineteen sixty five Rose Kennedy. This one is nineteen sixty eight. Ah, uh, this one is uh, Life's Photography contest. It had some pretty neat photos in here. Um, then I have Liz Taylor, 1956. Look at her. She was a beautiful woman. And the last one are uh, the two accused. This one is from 1968. Sirhan Sirhan, and then is the other one James Earl Ray. I can't, I'm not, I hate social studies. <laughs> um, then I got some amazing kids books oh my goodness we have this is rand mcnally feathered friends this one is from oh my god roman numerals never mind never mind this one is Teletale Books. Train coming. <laughs> and this one is, it's got a little rip, but that's okay. Uh, oh, Whitman. This is Whitman, Teletale. Oh, Roman numerals again. Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Rand McNally, Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod. This one is Roman numerals. Chicken Little. I think I have this book. I usually have it up here with my roosters. This is a Whitman book as well. Okay, clown alert, clown alert. Circus! <laughs> this one is a Bonnie book. A Bonnie book. 
1952. Look at that. We got a little chick riding a zebra. <laughs> Somebody colored on the back with some pencil. Oh my God, that's an awesome book. Then we have, oh, they put a sticker right on the kid's face. A visit to the doctor. This is a wonder book. And this was from 1960. Look at these graphics. Oh my gosh. And then this one is a visit to the hospital. So obviously the doctor didn't catch it in time. So he ended up in the hospital. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, these are awesome. These are awesome. I remember, I remember that logo as a kid. This one is from 1958. So those are amazing. And the last thing that I got is this bag of little like leprechaun guys. And I think she only charged me like a dollar or something. The books were um, either a quarter each or 50 cents each. All the magazines were a quarter each. And I forgot how much the other books were. But anyways, let me, let me look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. Oh my God. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, look at, we have a, oh, I can't read that. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's doing a jig and it's like a decoration. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. He reminds me of Happy from the Seven Dwarfs. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my word. These are amazing. Oh, I love them. Love, love, love them. So, that is the end of this haul. This is everything that I purchased from Friday and Saturday this past weekend. I think I got some really great things, and um, I'm very excited, like, to, to decorate for Halloween and everything. I love to decorate for Halloween and Christmas. So this should be very, very fun. And um, I got, my aunt bought me three of these for my birthday for when we go to a state sale. Look at the size of this basket. And it's got the handles and it folds up. flat. Look at that. This is like awesome. <laughs> so thank you, Aunt Dana. Well, everyone, that was quite a haul. Absolutely. I hope you enjoyed this haul video. If you did, thumbs up, please. It's always appreciated. I have been stuck at like 7,000 
600 and something subscribers for a very long time. So if you are watching this video right now and you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it very, very much. And, um, you know, I do these videos, you know, I don't have a set schedule. Um, it's fly by the seat of my pants. Whenever I have a second to do a haul video, I just do it. So um, I pop on, you know, every now and again. If um, you hit that notification bell, you will always know when I do upload a video. So with that being said, everyone, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay safe, wear your masks, and I will be back, I'm sure, with another haul video because there's going to be an amazing estate uh, sale this weekend. Yes. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>